Swagger is no longer available as a default option when you create a .NET 9 project. But what are the alternatives? Can we get Swagger back? Why was it removed? Those are the questions I will answer in today's video. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you are always notified of new videos. Going back to the main topic here, you can see in the .NET 9 announcement, it says Swashbuckle is removed from .NET 9. If you read through the details here, they say that the project is no longer actively maintained and there will be a solution that will be provided in .NET 9 release. The plan is to remove dependency on swashbuckle.asp.net core from the web API template and introduce something new that is Microsoft.ASP.NET Core dot open API to generate open API document. Now what was happening is Swashbuckle used to generate open API document and on that we used to have a beautiful UI for all the API endpoints before .NET 8. Let me show that real quick here. I will create a new project, API project and sample API net 8. Perfect. Let me create that .NET 8 here using the default option. Let me create that. Now before I run the application here, let me change it to IIS Express and run the project. And perfect. It runs the application and by default it loads a Swagger UI where it displays endpoint of your application. And this is a great UI to make sure or even to get a feel that website is running and something is going on. Like if you are deploying this to a server, you open the page here and you know that API has been deployed successfully. Now let's take a look at application using .NET 9. A new project here, API. Let me call that sample API net 9. And let me create that. It will be a .NET 9 project here with the default option. Let me hit the create button. Perfect. Now if I change this to be IIS Express, let me run the application and see what happens. With IIS Express, the website is loaded and that is what I like. That way I can visualize things even if it's an API or a web project. But perfect. The API is up and running but you see something odd. It says localhost page can't be found. That is because Swagger UI is not integrated by default in a .NET 9 project. Now there are two pieces that we need to consider. The UI that you used to see in a .NET 8 screen was Swagger UI. But Swagger UI was built on top of an API document that was built and provided by the Swagger team. What .NET team has done in .NET 9 is they have removed Swagger. So the documentation that was needed to build that beautiful UI is gone. And without that document, you cannot build a UI because you do not have the core definition of API required by that Swagger UI. But instead what Microsoft team has done is if you examine program.cs, they have introduced their own open API document. This open API will be supported by Microsoft and that way they are not dependent on Swagger for the open API document. If we go back to our PowerPoint here, rather than the Swagger open API document, Microsoft is providing its own open API document in .NET 9. And using that open API document, we can use and generate Swagger UI. We just have to tell Swagger UI that you need to use the open API document provided and generated by the .NET project. Let me switch back here and now we will implement Swagger UI using the open API document provided by the .NET team. We have to add a new get package here. Let me manage that and we will search for Swashbuckle. We have swashbuckle.asp.net core. Let me install that new get package. And perfect. With that, if I come back to program.cs, 
we need to add swagger ui so we will say app dot use swagger ui and then we need to define where is the documentation that is generated by this open api document because using that document it will generate swagger ui previously we did not have to provide this route because swagger was generating that open api document but with this if i run the application we will have to navigate to swagger index.html to see that swagger page so if i go to swagger index.html you can see it loads swagger here but it gives an error that it does not have an api definition because that route is not provided now on the same local host here let me navigate here and i will type open api v1.json and right there we have the specification that is needed for swagger ui this is the default route that microsoft has used for its open api document so what we need to do is let me copy this and where we have added swagger ui we need to say that hey you need to go to this particular location to get the documentation and on that document we can build swagger ui i will add the route here and then i will add a title here swagger demo with that if i restart the application now if we go to swagger it should be able to load the swagger ui let me run that and perfect we have our endpoint here and this is looking great with that swagger ui is now using the microsoft open api document that is provided by default in dotnet api now i personally love having swagger in any api documentation that way i not only get a look and feel of all the endpoints but it is always good to visualize something when you go to a route and see that it is up and running for quick testing or anything like that swagger is great as well so in my opinion i love having swagger ui and it does not matter if it's on open api document by microsoft that is great we can still incorporate that and now we do not have to rely on swagger open api document so that is also a plus point finally if you do not want to use the microsoft open api documentation for some reason you can always go back to using swagger for that we will say builder.services.add endpoint api explorer and we will add builder.services.add swagger gen then in the pipeline here we were configuring map open api rather than that we will say app.use swagger and app.use swagger ui now when we are using swagger for the open api we do not have to provide any endpoint let me actually comment it out here and not remove that and right here i will leave that in comment builder.services.add open api perfect that looks good with that let me restart the application and see if that works we will have to navigate to swagger index.html and perfect that is working but now it is using swagger to generate the open api document one small thing that i will modify here is i will modify the default route of my api if i go to properties launch setting and let me scroll down here where we have iis express we will also set the launch url that will be swagger copy that i will paste that here as well and perfect let me run the application and now by default it will take us to swagger and that is the default page for our application so with that you can see if you have to add swagger to a dotnet 9 api it is not a big task it is rather pretty quick and you can get started in couple of minutes my personal opinion is i love swagger ui and that is what i have been comfortable with and it also gives me a great look and feel real quick if you have different ideas on using swagger or if you do not like swagger let me know in the comments 
and I will definitely check those out and provide feedback. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in some other video. Till then happy coding!